Welcome to Short View Trading. It's Monday 9th of January. It's around 9 a.m. London time. So what matters for markets on a one to two week basis? If you're going to trade equity index futures like a swing trader with a one to two week time frame, what do you need to know? What kind of model should you be looking at? What sort of factors should you be thinking about? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. So let's dig in. So markets were pretty strong on Friday last week. We saw the S&P 500 up around two and change percent on the day and markets were very much encouraged. Investors were encouraged by the payrolls data, which they thought was good for the soft landing argument. Strong payrolls data, 223,000, slightly above expectations, plenty of new job creation according to non-farm payrolls, plus softer wage inflation. It's a great Goldilocks type combo. Investors regard that as increasing the possibility of the Fed being able to deliver that magical soft landing. So markets were encouraged, they were enthused. It was a strong week last week. And with that strength on Friday, we broke out of the trading range. You can see on this chart that the equity market's been in really since mid-December, a range on the S&P of about 3,800 to 3,900, pushing above that on Friday, looking as though a breakout is underway on the back of that perceived good news flow. And with that, of course, we had a good week in markets. The first week of January, a positive week, as you can see in this chart in front of you now. This is at key US equity indices weekly performance last week. All indices up on the week, some really quite meaningfully, Philly socks and some are mid and small caps and so on. And of course, there's this well-known market saying that where goes the first week of January, so goes the year as a whole. Some think of it as the first day of January, others think of it the whole month of January or the first week, as I just suggested. But all of those markets like to view the idea that where that goes in January, so goes the rest of the year. So market participants encouraged by that first week's trading with that positive number. But really all that leaves is a couple of big questions. Firstly, is that a genuine breakout that we saw on Friday from the trading match? Is it going to be sustained or is it just a one or two day wonder? And secondly, what is the primary trend in equity markets? Are we in a bull or a bear market? Certainly, if a soft landing's coming, it's pretty likely it's a bull. But really, where do, where, where do you fall down and where should one fall down? Well, on that second question, we updated our tactical views on equity markets last week. These are one to four month views where we look at US equity market direction of the S&P 500 versus bonds and cash. Where do we think it's going over the next few months, up or down? We updated that last week, published a long document explaining why we weren't convinced we we're back in a bull market at the moment. And indeed, there are various reasons behind that. One of them, of course, is the drumbeat of recession keeps on banging louder and louder. Last week on Friday, yes, payrolls were good, but ISM non-manufacturing wasn't good. It was softer than expected. Most importantly, and it was down, by the way, at around the, just below the 50 level, but most importantly, the new orders index fell sharply on ISM non-manufacturing, the service side of the economy. So we have both manufacturing and non-manufacturing trading just below at around 50 now. And you've had some pretty sharp falls in new orders in both. And all of that confirming the idea that a recession is increasingly likely and probably pretty imminent. But then in terms of the first question, is it a genuine breakout? What should you do in the short term? If you're a swing trader with a one to two week time frame, never mind the one to four month tactical time frame, what about the one to two week swing trader time frame? What should you be doing? Well, for a couple of reasons, I'd be cautious about chasing this rally. Firstly, in bear markets, you often get sharp one or two day reversal, short covering moves, strong up moves that really fade pretty quickly afterwards. And it's very easy to get caught up in these when actually you should stand back and, and watch and wait and, and think about them. And secondly, what are the short term models saying? Well, here's the short term risk appetite scoring system, one of our key risk appetite fear and greed models that we look at each and every day when we publish the daily rag. And as you can see in the chart that is up in front of you, it's moving pretty rapidly back to sell and has been pretty good on getting sell signals. So I, I'd be nervous about chasing this rally. I think that's a message of this model and a whole bunch of other models that we put in today's daily rag and that we update each and every day. So as these models move higher, this is a market that becomes increasingly vulnerable to negative news flow and is increasingly starting to generate or get close to generating sell signals on the one to two week time frame. If you're interested in hearing more, please do subscribe to The Daily Rag. You can click on the subscribe button or take a free trial. Click below on click on the link below. You'll get a free trial. We'll send you The Daily Rag for free. Simply put in your name and email address. No need for credit card details. We're happy for you to trial it on your own terms. 
for a bunch of trading sessions. Equally, if you want to subscribe, please do. Uh, and if you're a subscriber, please do see today's Rag Trader or Daily Rag, as it's known as, should be in your inbox. So what are we watching today and this week? Well, there's a ton of stuff happening. I think most importantly, at the back end of this week, we've got earnings beginning out of the States. Q4 earnings starts with the banks on Friday. JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, big banks reporting, kicking off the earnings season in earnest. There's a few companies before that. Over and above that, though, there's some inflation out of the States and out of China, CPI data out of both, PPI out of China, all of that happening on Thursday. And then we've got other bits and pieces of US data, NFIB, Small Business Optimism Tuesday, Michigan sentiment on Friday, and other bits and pieces over the course of this week. There's also some central bankers speaking. There's a central banking conference in Sweden. Bailey from the Bank of England will be taking a slot, as is Jerome Powell from the Fed and a number of other central bankers from around the world. So that's it from us. That's your Morning Market Hit for Monday, January the 9th. Thank you for listening. Please do subscribe to these updates on YouTube. Simply click on the subscribe button and please do like and share as you feel fit. And equally, you could follow us on Facebook, Twitter and on LinkedIn. So thank you for listening. Stay safe. Trade well.